Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. And in this video, we're going to be doing another essential oil recipe, but this one is for your hands because there's a lot of things essential oils mixed with carrier oils can do really great things for your skin. But this recipe I'm going to show you, it's one of those Simply Earth recipes and it's called Nails Without Fail Oil. And I, this even the old label, I have had this for so long and I just keep refilling the bottle. That's the beautiful thing. I make it, I set this by my chair and you know when you do a lot of gardening or maybe over the last year where you've had to uh, use a lot of hand sanitizer and your cuticles get really dry and sometimes they'll get really dry and then they crack and it's just miserable. This is amazing to help prevent that. So I'm going to be doing some nails without fail oil over here at my essential oil table. So let's get over to the table and get started. Okay, here we are at my essential oils table and I am going to make some of the Simply Earth recipe of nails without fail oil. And I used to years ago have a different one, but when I got this one, I really liked it. Um, I, I just really like how this works. So I just continue to reuse the little one ounce bottle that I got in my kit the year and month I think that this came out. I love it. So uh, look, I've even had to like put scotch tape around the label just to keep it on. I like to set this by my um, chair on the table um, between our chairs. And then in the evening when I'm watching TV, I'll put some of this on my cuticles. Keeps them from getting dry and cracking. Also the oil, um, the almond oil, helps your nails and keeps them from getting dry and, you know, splitting and stuff. So I love this. So here's what we need for the nails without fail oil. You need a one ounce jar or container of some sort. Uh, this actually came with the kit, like I said. You need some almond oil and palmarosa, which where's my palmarosa? There she is. There's my palmarosa. I love this oil and I'll tell you a little bit about it in a second. And also rosemary. So we're, there she is. So I've got my rosemary and my palmarosa and those are the only two oils that are gonna be needed for this recipe. So Palmarosa is a really cool oil. It actually, I believe it descends from uh, from rose roses, but which is where you get the rosa. Anyway, so, and it's a part of the lemongrass family, I think is what they said. I just want to look it up and give you a couple things about it. It also is a good scar prevention. It is uh, thought to help with things like eczema and psoriasis, and this is not medical information. That's just something that it says it may be uh, good for. Also, cuts, bruises, things like that, like like skin issues, it's really great for. And um, I love this oil. So that's a great oil to have. Rosemary is another wonderful oil. And oh, did you know, Palmarosa is very popular. Apparently, it's very popular in Europe. It's used a lot in soaps, cosmetics, and perfumes. So it's a nice one. Um, I love this one. Rosemary is a great one, and rosemary is interesting because it's not just a topical kind of thing. Topically, it's really uh, good for like circulation, which is why I think it's so good in this on your nails because I think that the circulation helps and um, you know helps your nails grow and helps just keep your skin healthier. But not only that, they did some research, and back in like Greece and Rome, they say they thought that it was uh, improved memory and apparently i was reading an article where they said they did some testing on it where they had people it was diffused or they inhaled it before taking tests and they actually scored better so they they believe that this is uh, good for focus um also to ease stress and relieve pain those are my two oils now i'm just going to open this little jar and i'm going to put in uh two drops of rosemary in this little one ounce container one two oh caught it and then one drop of palmarosa and that's all it takes and so you know when you buy these little containers these little 15 mil containers there's a few of them one drop come on it's a thicker oil it's going to take a second there it is a few of these oils i will go through really quickly because i use them in so many things my favorite one right now though is the home body blend oh my gosh where is it home body there it is i diffuse this in my house and it smells so good so i'm probably going to have to order more of the another one that i like is relief i like defender so i'll order those a lot but the regular essential oils they don't take a lot so they will last you a really long time so i feel like they're a real good investment now i'm going to do is fill up this container with those three little drops of essential oils i'm going to fill this up with my almond oil and if you um 
don't like almond oil or you're sensitive to nuts or something and this can affect you, you can use uh, different carrier oils. You could use fractionated coconut oil, things like that. So there it is. Now I'm just going to shake, shake, shake it and get all of those oils mixed up really, really good. I love that I'm going to have this by my chair tonight because I've been working so hard in my garden and I put gloves on and they still get wet inside and it's still hard on your hands. So, all right, there it is. Now I'm just going to take a little drop and they say you can put this on a cotton ball and then rub it, but I like to get a drop out. Hang on, come on. It's got a bubble in there. Why is this not coming out of here? Hang on a second. Okay. It just had a bubble in there. There we go. Sometimes that'll happen. And then tap, tap. There's, there it is. So I'm just going to tap a couple of these. Tap, tap. You can see them on my, see the little oil. And now all I'm going to do is rub it in. Rub it, rub it. Oh, feels so good. So I put this on in the evenings. And, and like I said, you can use a little, uh, cotton ball or you can just tap a couple drops on each finger that's the way I always do it so I don't like to have to worry about throwing the cotton balls away and then I'm just going to rub this on my nails and I just kind of sit there while I'm watching something on tv and I rub it in really good and it doesn't take a lot just one drop for each nail and there we have it my nails oh my gosh I love this for my cuticles it's just the best so if you want something to help your cuticles stay healthy, especially in the summertime, well, what the heck in the wintertime when you have to wear gloves and it's cold out and your hands get cold. So all year, why not make some nails without fail oil from the Simply Earth monthly subscription box? And the information about that is in my description. If you haven't seen this already, there's a there's a link where you can get money off ten dollars off of your first five boxes if you use that link. But. I don't sell these, but I love these. So there you have it, Nails Without Fail Oil. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.